What's up, y'all? It's your friendly neighborhood commentator, Dread Silver Kid, and I'm coming at y'all with a 2K NBA 2K12 Association commentary video. I'm posting on iPod King Carter's channel, so you think you can commentate. And yeah, my association team is the Kings, and I've done some major things with, it, as you can see, some new players are on there. Josh Smith being my franchise player. I'm playing the Rockets in this game. They're my hometown team, one of my favorite teams. And I think they're pretty exciting, so I felt like putting them in this video. So my starting lineup is Brandon Jennings, Marcus Thornton, Josh Smith, JJ Hickson, and Andrew Bogut. I got Jamal Crawford on the bench. I got Jason Thompson, uh, Jimmer Fredette, of course, and uh, T-Mac on the bench because, you know, I got to have that, that old uh, Rocket star T-Mac. So, but I got to thank iPod King Carter for making um, making this series this so you think you combinate series because people who are new commentators like me, I haven't been out that long by the way, but people who are new commentators like me can post on this channel and show my video to a whole bunch of viewers so they can decide for themselves if they want to subscribe or not or they enjoy my commentaries or not because if his channel wasn't here, I would be getting no viewers for years, only a couple. So I really appreciate what he's doing. And let me tell y'all a little bit about myself. I'm a young college student from Houston, Texas. I live in Atlanta right now, I, that's where I go to school, and um, I've been playing these 2K games for years, watching a whole bunch of 2K commentaries from Great Story Bro to Wise and Now to, of course, iPod King Carter and D. Coop. The, those were probably my inspirations for becoming a commentator. So let me get in this commentary. I'm playing against the Houston Rockets, Kyle Lowry, Kevin Martin, Terrence Williams, and Luis Scola, Jordan Hill, and all them. Rockets are one of the scrappiest teams in the NBA. They're a very high three-point shooting team. They score a lot of points, as you see Kevin Martin hits that on me. And you don't want to just let that happen to you. You got you to gotta make some changes. Kevin Martin's already hit, like, I think, what, three threes in this video already, and I just started commentating. You got to, I got to make some changes. I got to play Kevin Martin tighter. I got to make sure people are switching on the screens. And I'm showing you all this because... Uh, I don't I don't want y'all just like thinking that you can just leave them how it is or just try to guard them better. I lose the teams when I don't make changes. I don't usually um, make changes like this when I'm playing against my friends in quick matches, but when I'm playing association games, I, I try to try to win because I don't want my players leaving my team because I'm not a championship contending or a playoff contending team. So you got to make changes based on how the game's going. And I, <laughs> Chuck Hayes gets the steal right here. I'm so happy Chuck. I'm, I'm so happy Chuck Hayes is doing well because I was really about to trade this player. I mean, he is an uh, old Rocket, and I know he's a scrappy player, but he's, he doesn't really do it for me on my team. But that play right there shows me I need to keep him around. I hate playing fast, scrappy teams like the Rockets. I can't hold them. When I play man-on-man -man ball, I really can't hold them. Terrence Williams just drove on me. Kyle Lowry's putting me on skates, just getting to the basket on my team. And frustration begins to set in. That's the main thing that happens to me when stuff like that happens. I get frustrated and not good things happen. I just drive in there willy-nilly with Brandon Jennings. Like at least get a foul, but I start to get frustrated. Kyle Lowry throws this ball in, and I get the steal. I'm going down the court. I feel I got a three-on-one fast break, and I think I got an easy dunk. And no, nah, I can't even pass the ball to Josh Smith. And Courtney Lee just dunks on Josh Smith. I get... Really, Courtney Lee dunking on Josh Smith? You're athletic, but man, I got one of the best defensive players of the whole year. So I get more frustrated, throw the ball down to Scola, just get rid of it. But I get the ball back with this, with the last couple of seconds left. Get it to Jamal Crawford, and it's wet. At least, at least I'm going into the next quarter not feeling so angry. But that's the worst thing that you can feel in 2K12. You get frustrated, you make mistakes, give away the ball, and the other team goes on runs. That's what you don't want to happen. I'm starting off the second court, and I got Marcus Thornton going to the basket. Pass it in to Jason Thompson for the easy dunk. I got that lead pass going for me. That's why I love having athletic power for us. I can just throw it into him for the dunk. So the Rockets got Johnny Flynn. This is one of their new players this year, and he's, he's a pretty fast, scrappy player. He replaces Aaron Brooks pretty nicely as he gets into the basket. I don't I don't know how that happens, man. I'm scoring on three of my players. But I get that steal with Chuck Hayes. Chuck Hayes showing his worth. Two on two. Pass up to Josh Smith with the alley-oop. What a beautiful alley-oop. He broke his back for that one. That is a pretty, pretty nice alley-oop. And that's why I picked up Josh Smith. I need that athleticism, those hops. He just makes the overall, the team all around better. 
So I got Kyle Lowry do, putting Jimmy Fredette on skates and just getting blocked. I'm thank thank goodness he got blocked at time, but Scola gets the ball for the rebound, just puts it right back up. So it doesn't even matter. I got Bogut in the post. He's one of the players that I um I picked up in one of my trades. And Bogut actually kind of surprised me. I didn't think he was going to be this nice. I didn't think he was going to get blocks and rebounds like he did. And I didn't think he was going to be a banger in the paint like he is. So, I'm pretty happy about that. And I'm also happy Josh Smith can hit threes. He hits threes, like, pretty much better than Jimmer as Jimmer takes that one step back shot on Kyle Lowry looking pretty nice. And, of course, Kevin Martin, the franchise player for the Rockets, is definitely going off this game. Hitting threes in my face time after time. I honestly don't know why um, they were thinking about getting rid of him. So I got to get him back. I got Brandon Jennings sprinting towards the basket. Doing something nice. Getting the end one. That's not. I don't see that very often when I play with Brandon Jennings on this team. But I'm down and I'm trying to trying to get back in this game. I start hitting threes like crazy with Jamal Crawford and Marcus Thornton. It's pretty incredible how I was hitting those threes. So I'm now up by six. Thompson kicks it to Marcus Thornton. And Marcus Thornton just goes up on the whole Rockets team right there. Just goes up and tomahawks it. over. He just jumped over Kevin Martin. He just jumped straight over Kevin Martin right there. That's, and that's another reason why I kept Marcus Thornton and got rid of some other players. Marcus Thornton brings athleticism too and the three-point shot that I love. So here's the Sprite Spark right here. It's full of a lot of threes that I had to pull at the end of the um, third quarter. I was not doing that great at the beginning of it. You saw the Rockets team pulling a lot of shots in my face, so I had to come back with some threes on the fast break. So it's the last quarter of the game, and this is when 2K starts deciding who's going to win the game, who's going to lose. It doesn't matter how you play. As I get stripped with, by Terrence Williams, Jimmer Fredette, Obviously, he can't handle the ball anymore. He's a point guard, but he can't handle the ball. Johnny Flynn wets it um, in the corner. So I'm going to try to start it up again. It's real frustrating when you're at the end of the game. You're doing well all game. And then 2K just decides, hey, you don't deserve to win. They strip me again. Jimmer's messing me up. Johnny Flynn's running towards the basket. Passes it off to Terrence Williams. I block him, thankfully. I try to get the ball down the court. And I'm going to call a timeout. Jimmer needs to come out the game. You can't get back-to-back -to -back turnovers and just keep playing. I mean, we're trying to win championships here. You can't just be getting turnover after turnover and thinking you're going to come back in the game. Brandon James is going to take your spot. So I put my starters back in. I pass that in to J.J. Hicks, and he just does a monster dunk on him. Doesn't care who's there. No regard for human life. Terrence Williams is coming down the court. And I just get a quick foul on Terrence Williams. And my boy Josh Smith is out of the game. Got the sixth foul, telling Jason Thompson what to do. Make sure we don't lose this game. This is an important game right here. Got a win away. Josh Smith is my best player on my team. I'm pretty disappointed he's out the game. I'm getting nervous right now. And Terrence Williams just notices his man who's guarding him's gone and just goes up for a quick dunk. And once again, Terrence Williams, just, oh, he just abuses Andrew Bogut. He knows uh, Josh Smith is gone and no one can stop him. He just walks over Andrew Bogan. Why oh, you got to make me look like a punk, man? Just no respect. So I got to do some plays real quick. I pass it over to Jamal Croft. He's been hitting threes all game, so I know he's hot right now. At this point, I'm only up by two, so I know I need to widen the gap. And I figure I got Brandon Jennings on me, so why not hit a quick fadeaway three-point shot? So I went that with Brandon Jennings. Get the achievement. And I love this play right here. That was a beautiful play right there. They passed it to three people on the fast break and score. I got to applaud them for that. So I got Andrew Bogan in the post. He's been doing great all game. So I know he's going to hit this fadeaway. Beautiful fadeaway. Andrew Bogan has really stepped up this game. Okay, so I got Brandon Jennings going for the quick, crucial layup. I was so happy when Brandon Jennings hit that because nine times out of ten, he misses that. So we keep blocking their team, but they keep getting rebounds. I don't understand it. What's the point of blocking their team if they're going to get rebound after rebound? They tie it up. There's 44 seconds to go. I really, really don't want to lose this game. 124 to 124. Brandon James with the ball. I, I, need a, I need a play. I don't know what 2K is thinking, but they just gave me this crappy play right here. 
So I try to get into the post with Crawford. I know that's not going to happen, so I need to move it around a little bit. I got J.J. Hickson right there, pass it to Andrew Bogut. Get that crucial dunk. 22 seconds left. It's the end of the game right here. I just need to stop. Can't let them get a three. This is a three-point shooting team. I don't want them to score on me. They got Kevin Martin, Terrence Williams. I see Kevin Martin come around the corner. I got to stop that real quick. I stopped Kevin Martin from shooting the three. Give it back to Kyle Lowry. Scola's outside. I don't know what he's doing right there. So Scola kicks it back to Kyle Lowry. He's wide open. He pump fakes and shoots again, and he misses that. I That was some horrible defense on my part. He got me in the air jumping, but I'm so thankful he missed that shot. I got my second win of the season, and um, I'm pretty happy about it. Andrew Bogey was the player of the game. All game, he was getting major blocks, dunking on people, making his layups, hitting fadeaways. Andrew Bogey was the man this game. So I looked through my stats a little bit. Jamal Crawford did his thing this game. 21 points, 7 from 13 from the three-point line. My whole starting lineup is up there doing big things. But um, I would appreciate y'all for watching my video. I want to thank iPod King Carter for posting my video on his channel, posting it on the So You Think You Can Commentate series. And um, this is Dread Silver Kid, and I'm out. I'll see y'all later. Check out my um, channel. It's in the description below.